Hi, this is Martin from Alpha Yoga School, and this video is about adjustments. Today, we will discuss Upward Facing Dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. There is a quick review of the alignment, if Joanna can get into Upward Facing Dog. There's two things that you need to notice until you start adjusting, and this is whether this pose is even well aligned. I do not personally deepen students who are having knees on the floor, pelvis on the floor. I do not adjust the modification of the up dog, which is baby cobra. Uh, simply no deepening and no hands on adjustment. Maybe I can start with verbal adjustment. So if someone wants to get into up dog, so she presses herself up, but her knees are still on the floor, I would say thighs of the floor, thighs of the floor. If you say the, if you, if you say the thighs, the knees will automatically come up, or knees off the floor, knees up. Press the feet into the floor. There is also a tendency of people having having relaxed their legs, even if they have the knees of the floor and thighs of the floor, they allow the heels to fall away, splay out, and that means that their engagement of the knees of the legs is not 100%. So I would say, I would tap the heels and say, heels towards each other, heels towards each other, knees of the floor, thighs of the floor, press up. The first adjustment which I'd like to introduce is a small touch adjustment. Say someone is uh, lifting the pelvis up and it looks like uh, somewhere between a plank and attempt on up dog without not understanding that this back bend is happening primarily in the thoracic region. What is very important about upward facing dog, everybody says, thinks that back bend means back bend in a lower back in a lumbar region. This whole upper torso has a back, and in upward facing dog, we, may, we primarily focus on the back bend in the thoracic region, which is somewhere between the shoulder blades and below the shoulder blades. So it's the upper back thoracic spine. So if Joanna wants to come into up dog, make it a little bit a plankish. The small touch adjustment would be my. Uh, middle finger and my thumb would come against her collarbones, my other hands under the scapula and I would push her and try to give her a, a nervous, uh, her nervous system a direction in where the, the uh, back bend is happening. So I am touching below the sh sh shoulder blades and against her collarbones. Relax. The main adjustment is uh, as follow is happening usually during uh, sun salutations. To enter upward facing dog, you usually start with uh, plank, high plank. You lower to chaturanga. This is the exhale where I step and place my toes. You can relax. I will step my toes so that they are almost touching the root of her wrist. I will repeat it. Come to high plank, Joanna, and press down into Chaturanga. I am coming and approaching the student, coming back and stepping directly behind her wrist. Relax. What is going to be happen next is crucial and um, it is the distinction between potentially injuring someone and helping someone. She's going to press herself up into upward facing dog. I use my skiing stance and place my knees against her scapula. The reason if I was anywhere farther from her wrist, I would simply not reach her scapula and that would be not okay. I am standing right behind her wrist. That makes it very easy for me to land my knees against her scapula. Place both of my hands on her shoulders and roll her shoulders open. The adjustment is happening with my hands. My knees are not moving. My stance is not moving. The sole purpose of my knees is, uh, in this position is to prevent her 
to move her back. What I don't want to do is if I would move her back without my knees, she would, this whole movement would uh, pretty much hit her lower back and the lower back is not my interest. My interest is opening of the shoulders, drawing the shoulder blades back because this is where the preparation for back bends are uh, uh, begin and this is where the uh, tension and the stiffness appears in Western bodies. Let's do it live uh, again. I was just going to show what would happen if I didn't step my feet right behind her wrist and wouldn't land safely against the scapula, come into high plank, press into chaturanga. I'm going to step behind, but farther. She's going to press herself up into upward facing dog. Now I am going to place my hand here. And if I move her back, I am jerking with her torso. And this will, this is very painful and very dangerous for lower back. This is the correct adjustment. My knees are against the scapula. This prevents her from moving and all I'm worried about is opening her shoulders and looking up. Exhale as she turn. On exhale, I step away and she gets into downward facing dog. Knees to the floor and relax. This, these are two adjustments. The small touch and the deepening of an opening of the uh, thoracic chest. Thank you very much.